Now, tomorrow's Armed Forces Bowl honors the military, and that makes it particularly special for one Mizzou assistant coach. KOMU8's Lauren Michelson is live in Fort Worth with that story. That's right, Ben. Mizzou running backs coach Curtis Looper is an Army veteran himself, something that he says influenced his coaching style in more ways than one. I thought we were playing Army. I was excited, very excited. Mizzou football running backs coach Curtis Looper knows firsthand how the men and women who serve our country feel. Uh, I'm a proud veteran and uh, I'm proud to be playing against Army. Looper served from 1988 to November of 1992, a time where he says helped impact the way he coaches his players. Just the discipline. You know, the, the, the discipline that I learned in the military, I can I definitely use that some of the tactics with my players. Looper was an air traffic controller, and although he was never deployed, he says his time at basic taught him the significance of work ethic, something he's shared with his team leading up to the Armed Forces Bowl game. They didn't know what a commitment, what type of commitment that the, uh, the soldiers from the Army are, are having. It was a great respect that I think they've, they've established for, for um, the servicemen that, uh, that will be playing. But being a veteran isn't his only connection to this game. It's going to feel really weird to be on the visitor side of Amon Carter Stadium. Looper coached at TCU, home of the Armed Forces Bowl game, for seven years. That in itself will feel weird. I'll probably run out and run to the wrong sideline when I come down. Now, as a coach on the opposing sideline, Looper is ready to take home the trophy with his team. We've, we made that point. Uh, coach Drink has made that point every single day since we since we've been preparing for the, the uh, bowl games. In honor of all that him and other service men and women have worked for. Looper coached right here at this stadium at TCU for seven years, and he's excited to be back tomorrow. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Lauren Michelson, KMU8 Sports.